What's up, YouTube? We are 10 days out now from stepping on stage. It's time for war. Sit back, relax, enjoy the episode. Let's go. When I say I'm gonna do something, it's already done. I'm coming for overall Ben's Physique Champion at Summer Shredding in October 2023. This is redemption. So, I'm at this place right now where I'm tapping into this like darkness. I'm starting to see lines in my physique that I've never seen before, like in my lower back and shit, which is super dope. It's all dark energy from here. Like, I had this moment the other day where I was doing cardio and I was like fucking dying. Like I literally felt like I was dying, but I was enjoying it. Cause I knew that like every single rep that I was taking it was one step closer to me taking home the trophy. And so right now it's like when I'm training, all I'm thinking about is that feeling, that celebration that I'm gonna have when, when I win and how good it's gonna feel to see all my hard work finally come to fruition. And that like vision is, is my driving force right now. It's what gets me out of bed. It's what moves me. It's what, it's the last thing I think about when I go to bed. The first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning, it's literally fucking everything. So I'm keeping that aggressive mindset. I'm going to the gym as soon as I get there, putting my headphones in, I'm putting in work. And right now, I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna listen to some winner's mindset motivation before we go to the gym. Every fucking rep counts, every second counts. So I'm getting myself in that mindset where as soon as I walk through those front doors, my headphones are on and I'm like, I'm here to fucking work. Today, it's gonna be a chest and back day. I'm gonna do the first half of the workout in uh, gym one and second half of the workout in gym two. And then after second half of the workout, we're gonna be doing some cardio um, right after my workout and some stretching and then we're done. You guys are also going to get to meet Oscar, one of my uh, one of my clients. He's a dope kid. He works out here. He asked me to do an interview for him on his YouTube. And I said yes. Also, side note, I got new shoes and I wore them to the gym. Slightly regret them. They're fucking tight on my feet. So we'll see. We'll see how this workout goes. Because my shoes are fucked. They're, they're nice, but they feel tight. I'll wear them in throughout the workout.
doing some cardio right now. I'm going to do some conditioning, conditioning and abs, core and abs. My, uh, my mind is like trying to negotiate with me right now and like talking about doing cardio. So I'm just going to put my headphones in and just get to work. We're 10 days out now and like we're like digging. So again, your mind plays tricks on you and you got to like, you just got to force through. You got to find a way to, you got to push through. So my brain is telling me not to do it and that's exactly why I'm going to do it. So we're going to fucking get some cardio in. Uh, it's going to be a minute of kettlebell swings. Like, so we swing kettlebells. I just saw the kettlebells. I was going to do step ups, but I want to do kettlebell swings. Kettlebell swings, lower back extensions. Uh, I'm going to work my side obliques and I'm going to work my core. So let's get after it. myself and my goal is to win so if you see the notes if you zoom in after each round I just one put an emoji and then I put win just to remind myself of why I'm grinding so hard got to stay focused when it gets hard you got to like remember what you're fighting for with that ring not the wedding ring the overall on to the next one on to the next one Nobody gonna outwork me. I'm coming for it all. I can see it. And I think when you, I be, I am fucking certain that it's already done. It's not I think. I'm fucking certain. Sometimes I'm afraid to say that because you guys might think I'm cocky, but I'm just like fucking certain. There's not a single fucking person on that stage that's gonna outwork. Period. Show me somebody else who wakes up at 3 a.m. every fucking day. They can take the trophy if that's the case. Nobody does. It's fucking mine. That's it. So I, was talk, I was just talking to Arnell about how he was like, it didn't seem too hard for you today. And I feel like, well, two things. One, I did have a high carb day yesterday and I think that helped out with my energy levels. But two, I'm like 10 days out right now and it's like, we're almost in the single digits, so I feel like that like extra surge of motivation kind of is kicked in now. But either way, uh, it was a great workout. I feel awesome. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So I'm gonna do a little bit of posing for you guys right now. After I take a kiss and show you guys my routine, dial it in a little bit. It's gonna be a good time. I also I'm gonna like. So I shave my, as you guys can see, I shave the front of my body, which makes my front of my body look way leaner. I need to shave my back now. I'm gonna shave my legs. So the next vlog, you guys will see big thing shit. Because you can't see how shredded I am right now. It's all my fucking light hair. So we're getting rid of that. We're getting rid of that. Has been 
fucking hard. Um, it's been hard because I didn't like I didn't plan to do two shows. I only planned to do one. And uh, obviously, this isn't me being a victim because I fucking chose to do the prep. But I just want to kind of explain where my head's at. Um, I only planned to do one show. And you know, when I saw when I met Guzman at the pool party, and he told me I, he thinks. You know, he said, you just need to get a little bit leaner. And when he said that, I was like, I feel like I could win this shit. Um, so I've been going all in, but guys, my weight has been so fucking stubborn, like up and down and up and down and up and down. It's fucking frustrating. And it's frustrating because like my work ethic is a 10 out of 10. Like I, I don't miss on my work ethic, but when I have so many uncontrolled variables in my life, like stress from PT NOM, stress from iron energy, stress from traveling, like all those factors play into like how your physique reacts to the diet. Plus I've been on prep now for like nine months and dieting. So my body's, I almost felt like it was resisting the prep for a while. So I needed to like change it up. I needed to change up the way I was doing my cardio, change up like my routine, change up my morning. Like I've been like trying to find a groove where I'm actually losing weight consistently. And I finally feel like I found it, which is a good feeling. Um, but it was a fucking, it was a grind to get here. Like, to be honest with you, like it was not fucking fun. Like it was like not fun for me at all. And there has been many, many days where I'm just like, I don't know if I can do this shit, like straight up. Cause I'm not like, I don't want to step on stage and not win. That's not the fucking point of going to a show. Like the point of going to a show is to fucking win. And so if I'm gonna do something, like I want to do it to the best of my ability. And I feel like it's been really hard for me to, it's been really hard because I feel like I have been showing up as my best, but my body was like, that's not enough, you know? Um, you know, there was, yeah, it's just, it's just been hard, you guys, straight up, it's been hard. But yesterday I had a hard, high carb day, which is, you know, my last high carb day until next Tuesday. Tuesday is my next high carb day, and then uh, like Tuesday we're doing 500 grams of carbs, and then after that we're gonna start the depletion phase. We're going to be depleting for, well, we're just starting the depletion phase now, actually, because he lowered my carbs to 100. Um, so I've got 100 grams of carbs for like the next three days, 75 grams of fat, 225 grams of protein. And then uh, after the depletion, after this, there's Tuesday, 500 grams of carbs. Um, and then we're just going to see how my body responds. 500 grams of carbs, two more low days, and then we're going to do a high day, I think, on Friday. Uh, that's the plan, at least. So. I honestly feel super fucking confident at this point. Like I, I know that I've put absolutely everything that I possibly can into this prep, and I've still got, still got ten more days to dig, and I plan on fucking digging. Like I want to get every last bit of body fat off before we actually carb up. Because um, yeah, I just feel like I just feel like I, I feel like I could take this shit. You know, I feel like I really could. Um, so I'm gonna perform. I'm gonna do my very best. I'm gonna show up because I know that a lot of you guys are watching the story and like selfishly I want to do this for me man like I want like I feel like I put everybody else before myself all the time and I want to just put myself first and just like focus and win this show and do what I said I was going to do and I'm honestly certain I'm going to win and if somebody shows up better than me then I just don't think that's going to happen I just don't think that's going to happen like I, I'm going to fucking win this shit like that's the fucking that is the intention, that's the entire fucking mission, that's the fucking target, and I just like refuse to accept any other reality. In fact, I'm taking that out of the universe. I refuse to accept any other reality, and that's what keeps me pushing, that's what keeps me grinding, is like, I already won. And so like, throughout my workout, you know, when I was tired, I was like, what would an overall champion do? An overall champion would do another set. An overall champion would finish the workout. An overall champion wouldn't skip the cardio. An overall, so it's like, you gotta view it through that lens, you know? Like, if I was this person already, what would I be doing? And then take actions from that place. So yeah, it's been fucking hard. And I think that if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth it. And when I get to the end of the road, which is literally only 10 days away at this point, I'm gonna reflect back on these moments of, you know, sitting in this gym, stretching after my cardio session where I just pushed myself to the limit and remembering remembering how hard I actually worked and remembering the level that I pushed myself to and just like being proud of myself for all of the fucking effort and the energy and the attention that I have put into this and like I'm at a point and this might sound crazy to you 
but I'm at a point right now where I would literally rather die than fail. Like, that is the mentality. Like, I would rather fucking die than fail. So I will literally do whatever the fuck I need to do in order to win this shit. And, uh, and that's just it. That's just where I'm at. So it's been hard, but if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth it, right?